So it's 7 in the morning, uh, the sun just popped up. It was quite beautiful outside this morning, although really windy. Uh, I've been up three hours. I've been up since four. I'm still kind of fighting with jet lag a little bit. And it didn't help that I got a little bit drunk last night and went to bed at 9 p.m. So, <laughs> yeah, that really didn't help. But I was up at four, and, and it was a good thing. Now I'm ready to enjoy our full day on the ship as we cruise towards the Dominican Republic. So let's do it. So it's just after midday here on the ship and it's been a really chill morning. Uh, what's cool about this trip, on the cruise days there's seminars rather than just entertainment. So this morning there were seminars that were like empowerment seminars and storytelling seminars and responsible travel seminars and there were some really cool things that actually have value in my opinion. Uh, so that's been really cool so far. Uh, the day's continuing now. Um, I just had lunch. I just had barbecue, which was good, and I forgot to film it, so I'm sorry. And and then now I've got the afternoon to myself. There's other seminars, but I really want to hit the gym since I haven't worked out in like two years. And then the internet on board is terrible. It's basically non-existent because it's satellite internet out in the middle of the ocean. So rather than doing daily vlogs since I can't upload them anyway, I'm going to do a double episode today and tomorrow to be a daily double, if you will. So we're going to continue on uh, enjoying the time on the ship, maybe spend some time by the pool. I'm going to work out now and I'm not going to film that because it's going to be ugly. And we'll just continue the journey to the Dominican. So it's now day two of the double vlog and I think I've filmed just about as much as I possibly could on this boat. I'm really ready to be off exploring land um, and doing some of these impact activities on land in the Dominican Republic. We're getting there. We're only a couple hours away, not on this side of the boat, but the other side of the boat. We can actually see the Dominican Republic, the mountains and the coastline and stuff like that. So we're really close, uh, a couple hours away. I'm so stoked to touch land again and maybe even get Fido up in the air, so let's go. I'm off the boat! So I just went to ask for permission to fly Fido and it's not allowed in the port, they say it's a security risk. So instead I'm gonna go and do some more classic photography down on a point that I saw that looks like it'd be cool. Uh, to be honest, it'd look way cooler from the air than it would um, from, a, from a ground photo, but I'll, I'll shoot some stuff over there anyway. It's about an hour until sunset, so let's go location scout. So location number one I scouted uh, belongs to another hotel and I can't get there. So I'm gonna try to find something right here in the cove because it's already getting late. It's like uh, Probably 4.30, the sun's still high, but it comes down pretty quick here. So there's like these really cool cabanas on the water, and maybe you'll try to build some sort of composition here at sunset, but struggling a little bit here, struggling a little bit. Let's find something though. Let's go up to the sky bar and have a look, see if there's a, a cool view down because the, the cabanas kind of blend into the mountains in the background. I'd like to separate them a little bit. So maybe getting up above them will help that. So no clear shot up here. There's always a tree or a building in the way. Uh, so I'm just gonna go down and do the shot from on the water, hopefully, as long as they let me out there. I'm sure they'll let me out there, right? Right? So I'm out here now at the cabanas, as you can see, they're, they're pretty cool and I think they'll make for a good photo. Um, trying to find out a couple compositions before the sun comes down. 
uh, trying to separate the buildings, trying to get a nice background to the image. It's not enough just to get buildings, cool buildings in a photo. You need a nice background as well. And maybe some leading lines using these paths here. So uh, I'm gonna scout this out a little bit, shoot some time lapse, wait for the light to come down and then shoot the hell out of this spot. The light didn't pop off at all for me tonight. It was just too cloudy, no breaks to let the light in and, and give some color to the clouds. But it was still a fun location to shoot. I had a good time shooting it. I did get smashed by a wave. I got smashed by a wave. And that's why my shirt's wet. Although my shirt's not wet from me getting hit by the wave, but from me drying off the camera because the wave went right over the camera. And salt water versus camera is not a good combination at all. But it seems like everything's working fine. I'm still shooting, but I think this is my last exposure for the day. So I'm gonna press the button in this exposure and call it a day here. Tomorrow I'm actually leaving the resort. So tomorrow I start some of these impact activities with Fathom. I don't remember what I'm doing tomorrow. I think I'm either teaching English or doing some concrete laying, which would be fun either way. And yeah, that's it for the show today. I'm gonna go back, edit some photos, edit this video, call it a night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. We're going on a boat. I love boats. We're going on that boat. It's a boat. I'm in the general vicinity of a boat. <laughs>